so I got something new to tell you that I learned today. Well, first of all, let me just get into this. I was going to start a new run Monday, January 17th, but it got pushed back to February 14th, which, as you all know, is Valentine's Day, but it's also the day that our all of the bids are open that day that we could all bid on the runs. All the run, bid runs come open. They're available. Let's all bid on the runs that week of the 14th. So, that's the day my new run starts. I never knew this before. So, here's the scenario. You have a line haul run. It's open. It's available. No line haul driver wants to run. For whatever reason. Doesn't matter. Just pretend... There is no reason other than all your line haul drivers are super happy where they're at. They don't want to, they just don't want that run. Well, a combo driver bids on the run. Let's say the combo driver's been with the company for a year. He wants to be a line haul driver, so he bids on the line haul run. But then you have a hub driver that's been with the company five years. He's on a hub run, been a hub driver for five years. He decides, hey, I want to be a line haul driver and get start my line haul seniority and get off this hub. I'm tired of doing it. He bids on the run as well. What happens is there's a, it's a two-step process. The first step is if you're a combo driver or a hub driver and you want to run line haul ever, you have to have your name on a wish list before the run is ever posted. So if I post, if that run gets posted on Monday, you cannot go Monday, that same day, after the run was posted, or any later than that, and go put your name on a wish list and then think you're gonna get that run. It's not, you're not gonna get it. But if you put your name on the wish list the previous week, and then this week, this line haul run comes available, okay, you're qualified. You're qualified to bid on that run. So if you both have your name on the wish list, step one complete, right? You both qualified to bid on the run. Now, who gets the run? That's the important thing. That's what everybody wants to know. Well, who gets the run is whichever driver has the most drive time with the company. In other words, whoever's been driving with the company the longest, whether it be the hub driver or the combo driver, that's who gets the run. So your name has to be on a wish list before the run's posted. And then whichever driver has the most, basically, company time or driving time with the company. There you go. So I found that out today. I wasn't sure how that was going to play out. But anyway, now I know.